You may be familiar with using the F4 key to add dollar signs into a formula, making the reference absolute, mixed, or relative. Did you know that you can also use the F4 key to repeat the last command? The following is a simple example to demonstrate both functionalities that have the potential to be incredibly helpful and save time for more complex tasks. In this example, if I want to calculate the total cost for each region, I want to multiply the quantity in column B by the unit cost in F1. If I drag this formula down, it won't work because the reference to cell F1 changes on the other regional lines. Because I always want that part of the formula to reference cell F1, I can click in front of that in my formula bar editor and hit F4 to populate dollar signs around the reference making it absolute. This means no matter what else changes in the formula, that part will always point to F1. Now when I drag the formula down, everything calculates correctly. You can also make just part of a reference locked, such as just the column or just the row, by hitting F4 additional times when in the formula editing bar. Now my formula works great thanks to the F4 key in absolute reference, but now I have these extra lines that I don't need. I can right click and choose to delete the lines one by one, or after I delete the first line, I can simply select the subsequent rows and click F4 to repeat my last command. The F4 key has two distinct and helpful uses in Excel.